What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at how you can clean uh, PC parts or com uh, computer components or electronic uh, PCB boards like these here, motherboards and stuff like that. Now a couple of members over here on my channel have said, have you seen Tech Yes City's channel uh, called Brian? I've watched his channel and I am subscribed to his channel as you can see. And uh, they pointed out that he uses parts cleaner, i.e. Uh, brake cleaner and do I recommend doing it and is it okay and uh, why I don't agree with uh, that uh, statement to use brake cleaner because it is quite corrosive and it is uh, will eat into plastic it's also very conductive and stuff like that so you've got to be very very careful so I don't um, dislike Brian's channel I think he does a great job over there and uh, also it's just his method of using to clean uh, computer components now I've got a couple of dirty computer components here which I'll show you the method that I use uh, to clean uh, these uh, boards up now you could have spillage on here uh, water damage or just dust and you want to try and get rid of as much dust as possible now they do this isopropyl alcohol uh, cleaner which comes in a spray form as well as a liquid form so depending on what you want to use I like the spray form for cleaning off motherboards because it gets in all to those little nooks and crannies with that little straw there. And also it's non-conductive, it's non-corrosive and also it will get right into those uh, parts where you need to clean. It also uh, will dry out very quickly as well. So this is what I would use to clean motherboards with. Okay. Now there's also another component here which I wanted to show you which is called WD-40 and this is not the normal WD-40 this is the specialist uh, quick drying uh, contact cleaner now this is great for electronical uh, component cleaners uh, but you can't see the picture there because it's a bit out of focus uh, but it does uh, give you uh, recommendations to use this for electrical components now the beauty of this stuff is again it's non uh, corrosive it's non conductive and it's also very quick drying and this is the stuff that you should be using if you want to clean computer components now I'm not hating on Brian over at Tech Yes City so before you start a war rage in the comments section I'm not doing that I'm just pointing out the way I do things he does his his way I do mine my way and you can see here this is the actual dust on the board here and uh, this is not a really dirty board uh, you can remove the battery if you feel that you want to but uh, you don't really need to because it is non-conductive and I'll show you how to quickly clean this uh, with this particular types of sprays and I'll show you both uh, of these sprays and the way they work and they both work in slightly different ways but they both have a pretty good outcome when you clean it now I'm not going to spend a whole bunch of time uh, really giving it a full thorough clean I'll just show you the, uh, what it looks like once you spray the uh, product onto the actual motherboard now don't worry because you're not going to harm any components on the board because that's exactly what it's designed uh, for. So let's give it a spray with the isopropanol first and the spray stuff is really really useful uh, for this particular type of stuff. So I'm going to give it a good spray here and you can see it's pretty wet just like the brake cleaner but the good thing with this is it's non-corrosive and it won't cor uh, corrode the board it won't cause any problems if you don't get it off properly it's not flammable it's none of that stuff it's not flammable to electrical components so I'm just going to spray a bit more on here just to show you and you can see you can go really liberal with it or you can go you know as much as you like it's not going to cause any problems and you can get a toothbrush and get right in there now if you've got water damage uh, from a laptop and stuff like that this is the method that you can use to get rid of water damage and sometimes after you've done that it will fire up and start to boot so this is a really good way of doing it you also can get uh, isopropanol uh, uh, little cloths or and they come already pre-pregnated with the isopropanol on them and they're great for uh, cleaning up motherboards as well now he did mention that in his video so kudos to him for that um, but as you can see here you can get right in and uh, basically clean that board right up here and uh, it will take a bit of time uh, just be careful that you don't knock any sort of caps off or anything like that just I'm rushing here a bit just to show you and uh, basically you can take more time and you can see the dirt that's coming off here and just give it a good rub and a good clean and you should be back up and running now sometimes 
uh, use the shop vac first before you do this just to get rid of as much dust as possible but sometimes that dust is really grinding there and it's really difficult to move and this is the only way that you're going to be able to do it you can use this on graphics cards pretty much any electrical component and it will be fine uh, to use this particular type of method now we'll show you the WD-40 uh, method as well. It's very, very similar, uh, but also it's really rapid drying and also it, it doesn't leave any sort of residue on the actual board at all. So this is the uh, WD-40 and this has got two types of sprays. You can put it in this method, which will be just a big spray right across, or you can have the more controlled spray with the little straw there, which is already on the can which is really, really nice. And you can also spray this into uh, USB ports and stuff like that to remove any debris as well. And you can see how quick that is. It's so, so quick. And uh, you can see the board is now nice and clean, as you can see. I haven't even done any rubbing and it's already starting to look really, really good. So I do like the WD-40, uh, WD-40 Specialist uh, Contact Cleaner. It's really, really good. And also the good thing about it as well, you can spray it into these uh, ports here if you've got some sort of debris in there or dust or uh, dust bunnies or anything like that this this won't harm it whatsoever this is what this stuff is designed for it's designed for drying really really quickly and to clean up any grubby old uh, boards that you may have so as you can see there i've not even cleaned that with any sort of cloth and it looks pretty clean now let me just show you by spraying some onto this cloth here now this is some sort of a uh, cloth you can see it's pretty dry already there's hardly any sort of uh, wetness there. Now that may look wet, but it is actually dry to the touch. And uh, it's just where I've sprayed it on there. So it's not soaking wet. This looks pretty good. Now let me show you the other stuff. This is as isopropanol. As you can see here, it saturates it quite a lot. So there's a big difference in drying, uh, but they're both harmless to electrical uh, components. And they equally do a pretty good job. Now the WD-40 Specialist Contact Cleaner does dry a lot faster, so if you want to use that for something in a hurry, it will dry pretty rapid uh, within seconds, it will pretty much dry up. Whereas the isopropanol does take a bit more time to dry out, and you may need to just uh, help it along a little bit with some uh, cloths and stuff like that. But anyway, you can choose whatever you want here. So this video is not a, a flame video or anything like that, it's just to point out the way that I do it, because a lot of people did ask me, uh, the way I clean motherboards and that's the way I do it this is probably more a safer way of doing it but hey it, everyone does it their own way and as you can see the results are pretty good and they speak for themselves there and I haven't spent much time on that whatsoever and there's no corrosion or anything like that or risk of damage to the board anyway I'm gonna wrap this one up my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk I hope this one helped you out and answers all your questions bye for now